Okay, I'll introduce this one. Okay. I don't remember introducing so. <laughs> All right, we haven't done this in a while. How can we... All right. Okay. Hi, and welcome to episode 18, Illustration Community. In this episode, we're going to discuss illustrator communities, and we're going to share an exciting project that we're working on that's going to benefit all our listeners. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Olga. I don't even know if I have to um, say that. I'm Olga. I don't think we have to. We say it in our <laughs> intro, Olga. We don't. <laughs> That's we don't true. Need, we don't need to say oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We say it every episode in our in our intro. Um, but yeah, I'm it feels kinda... like episode 180. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. I I'm excited. Not excited, but this is actually something we've been talking about uh, for a while. Um, we just weren't sure how we wanted to um, organize it or implement it. So, but I think we've figured out what we're going to do and how. And uh, but before we go into like the full episode, what are you what are you doing, Olga? How are you doing? Are you drawing dogs? I, I think you're drawing I, dogs. I am still. I am, and and I. <laughs> And you know how much I'm into this project right now that as, as you're talking, I'm like sneaking in Ooh. to try to go a little bit more. Um, I, I, I was telling you that I'm kind of like burned out on projects for, because there's been a lot of critiques and a lot of mentoring and a lot of uh, classes and, you wrapped and up things the book. that I don't get wrong. Yeah. We finished the book and now we're kind of gearing into what we're going to do for marketing and I, I think I need a little cleansing. <laughs> so I'm like, I want to do something for the licensing. I have a licensing agent also. Um, and I like doing that stuff because it's like a one-off. It's not an yeah. entire book project. And and I get to just sit there and make, you know, fun things and a little bit different. They don't have to look like everything else. That nothing has to be cohesive. It's just, I don't know. It's more fun. To yeah. Me. And you can experiment. So I'm doing a puzzle. I can experiment. That's right. It, like different different styles. It's totally cool. And, mm -hmm. and so I'm doing a puzzle um, about dogs, and I'm really loving it. I'm just having fun doing it. So that's what we're doing. And there's no thinking required. I'm just drawing and being lost in the project. So I gave myself about another week or so to play with this. Maybe a week and a half before I actually had to go back to real work. Real work. Real <laughs> you know, work. like the, the stuff that yeah <laughs> the stuff that that uh is 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 paid for that Dead, I have to do deadlines. Yeah real deadlines. That has deadlines, that stuff. And then I can go ahead and back to playing and then just give this to the agent. And if he can sell it good, if not, that's okay. <laughs> that, yeah. that kind of work. But I was thinking about like you could oh. actually repurpose those dogs in a lot of ways. Like even if it doesn't work as oh, a puzzle, absolutely. it could work as you could turn even just one of the dog, each one of those dogs into a card. You could, you know what I mean? Like you could break it up. There's a lot of things you could do with yeah. it. So I think it's a great um, jumping off point even. Yeah, I, I like how each of them are, they're kind of quirky. They have a... Um, a personality to them so you're right yeah. they could each be different things and i'll probably if i post them i'll probably post little snippets here and there just just yeah. to show but i'm having fun with them whether whatever it turns out to be and it's a it's a fun project yeah i wanted to do this one and i wanted to do one about shoes like an entire puzzle about shoes oh wow <laughs> i think it'll be so challenging to draw shoes yeah i don't know We'll see. Now, I mean, I have so many ideas of what I want to do and I write them down, but I never have time to actually do them. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give myself time to actually do this one. That's what I'm doing. So what are you doing? You're probably doing like real stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I'm not doing fun. Thoughts. I'm not doing fun stuff, but yeah, I, I am working on a coloring book, but I, I can't really discuss the details on it, but um, I'm in the middle of that. And um that'll probably I'll probably be working on that for another several weeks possibly and um, I'm also formatting several books that are really cool that yeah I keep just like there's amazing artists I know <laughs> I mean I know there's a lot he, of amazing illustrators yeah 
but um, you are really finding some really cool artists. I have to say those books are awesome. Well, these they're authors so are, I'm like, where are you finding? I mean, I, I'm just, I've never heard of these people and they're, they're really good. And uh, it's cool to see how other people handle uh, illustrating their books, you know, the, the, these um, independently published books. It's really fun. So I'm working on that. Those, those usually take me like a week or two. So those, I do those in between my actual work, but I need to like slow down a little so I can focus on this, the big project that I'm working on. And, um, and then I'm hoping after that, I can take some time to like, I don't know, redo, uh, work on my own, you know, my own stuff. I really need to write stories. <laughs> I'm behind on that. Like the next one, there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, there's some that 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 you have on the works. Yeah. That, that so I am. I don't know if I was on them. submission in the last. Video. I was gonna say. I, I don't think, think I was. Don't we have okay. to? I am on submission. I don't know, but you're on submission yeah. now. So yeah, so that's yeah. exciting. <laughs> and I mean, it, it to me, it doesn't really mean anything unless I till I hear things back. I have no idea what how it'll be received or. If I'll have to just, but just getting to the point, I don't know. but yeah, it's exciting. But just getting here is not easy. It's not easy to actually be on submission for traditional publishing. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little, it's, it's scary. To it's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to think about it uh, too much. So I don't get, so I don't get too worried or I don't know, dissected. I just want to let it, let it do its thing and then find out what's what's happening with it when I I just can't think about it if I think about it I'll yeah <laughs> I think since you were it, you and I were kind of like holding hands and holding our breaths on night when I was on submission I think I feel like you already went through it and yeah kind of like, okay we're just, it, it, it's just another book yeah <laughs> it's not, I it's think, your book it, I know but I can't put too much uh, yeah that's the thing like I'm, but I do but you when you it's kind of a weird space to me and because when when you do when you do submit uh, you have to think well okay if this because I'm working in other areas I have to think okay if this does get picked up I have to make sure that I have room on my calendar to work on it like I can't so I can't take on any huge like long-term projects right now so I have to keep a window open just in case and I may have to do that for like the next year if if I did get like I don't I have no idea how people who who are putting out like three and four books at a time like in traditional publishing like I'm sure well I'm sure these are like they're probably like stacked up between like years but somehow they all just yeah, release at the same say, time I just don't know how people do that it's just crazy but you know it's going to take a while and and if it does get picked up it's not going to be like right away you need to have yeah it's going to be slowly and throughout true so you have enough time to do all this stuff and seeing you go through the process really really helped me know what how I need to like plan my schedule if things happen yeah. and, and if things don't it's fine I, I'll I'll just keep doing what I'm currently doing I'm still getting work and and I'll just try to either redo that book or come up with a new one hopefully so which is interesting that's what this podcast was about kind of like hey let's say what's happening so that people can learn from it and learn from our mistakes or learn from our you know our, our journey so that they can figure it out ahead of time yeah and not have to do the hard work you know I mean they're still gonna have to do the hard work but at least there's someone yeah there with them well, the, just seeing the hearing about the process helps so much because I also, yeah, there's you see people announcing their books and I, you know, they got they got an agent, they got a book deal, and it sounds um, some Magical. ways, it, yeah, it, like you're <laughs> like, okay, well, how did that happen? Like, <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a process, there's a process for all of it, and they didn't just like stump. Well, some people get really lucky and and you know get things the first time but it doesn't always happen that way you know sometimes you have to keep keep trying and um yeah it's, and hearing the work that comes with it the the, the actual work and yeah. the action that it takes to actually get I mean like we just see the like I've said like the top of the iceberg but you don't see 
mm -hmm. all the work that these these artists put into it to get there yeah we just see the celebration part so yeah that's what what's interesting and that's yeah. what we wanted to do to show you or to talk about all the little nitty-gritty stuff that goes in between yeah the celebrations yeah. We actually, I don't, we, maybe we'll have an episode later on the steps that you had to take because we really haven't discussed what exactly, not too detailed, but you know, like the steps you had to take in yeah, order when can. you, once you get, maybe like once you get, if your book gets picked up, what are the next steps? Like, what do you, and I think every publisher probably, every editor probably works a little differently, but I think there it still is be. a progression. It's a story there's like some kind of but we can do and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the editor and I'll talk to my agent and all that when some time has passed for this book mm. maybe I can do the life of this specific book yeah that would be cool how yeah. did it go how, what changes it went through oh gosh so that we, I oh, mean, yeah this is just yeah right yeah that's this their... is just about this specific book yeah so it won't be this is know, what like, will happen every time every yeah right and it doesn't mean that this publisher is always like that or that all publishers are like this or yeah. that the situation I mean it sounds like a, there were no problems it was actually a lovely ride but there were some some changes and some some things that I had to rework and mm -hmm. questions I had so the life of this book would be a good episode and then I, we'll see how much detail I can actually put in there yeah I think that you you are the reason there were no issues with the book because you have you were very <laughs> I think you were lovely to work with I know they were lovely to work with but I'm just saying oh, like gosh. you're you're very <laughs> you. um willing to um because I think so you know some people hold their projects so dear that they're not willing to change it or accommodate or make make the changes but you oh you, yeah, yeah yeah you were so willing to step back and look at things from their perspective and their point of view and and take their edits and um run with them which you, you created something wonderful with it but I think a lot of artists that would that that would be a really difficult process it, it's it's hard to um, I think yeah it's not always that easy for some people, but I think you've yeah, learned I, that, or you, you're good at that. I think I went in here knowing that this was a, it, that is a group project. And I used to not be very good at group projects, you know, in college, they always mm. make you do a group project and some people yeah. don't do the work and then you're great, all depends, yeah. that kind of thing. But I think I went into this knowing that yes, it's my book but it's an entire group of people working in this group and everybody has a voice and everybody has, but the way they handled it, it was always, I never felt not respected. I never felt that, that it wasn't my book at all. Mm -hmm. It was always like, we have these, these changes. Would you be willing to do this? Or can you come up with something different? Or what do you think of these? And then sometimes they would give me some choices and I'll be like, no, neither one of them. How about this one? You know, like, and mm -hmm. then they would be like, oh, that works. It was, it was a collaboration for sure. And I, I think I was okay. Like I, I was like, I felt like I don't, I know exactly what I want. I want the book to be published traditionally. Mm -hmm. And I understand how I have to work in this industry. And, and yeah, that was, that's, so yeah. I think that helped. So if that is advice for someone else, know that traditional publishing is is a group project yeah and you have to work together it's not like this is my book and you are here to just publish yeah the way i say yeah. it uh then you're not going to get published i think <laughs> it's yeah. going to be you know if, it's it's easier when you're willing to work with people but yeah you're i i appreciate that what you're, what you're saying but I, I think it's that it's just a matter of like hey the way you look at it yeah <sighs> Don't, yeah, don't sit on a high horse and, yeah. and be like, I'm the artist here. You must listen to me because they're all artists, honestly. Mm -hmm. All of them are. I mean, the editor is an artist on, his own, on, her, on her own, his or her own. Um, the, the art director, they're, they are, they, everybody brings mm -hmm. something to the table. Yeah, so that's true. It's, it's a work, yeah, working together. Yeah, I like that group project. Uh, we, so... I guess we you can, know uh... it, it feels like we went completely off topic 
on what we were, but no, because not we're really. going to bring it back. Yeah. When we so, say a group project, that's that's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah. In the yeah. announcement of what we're planning to do now. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go back to what the episode was about. So it's yeah, um, illustration communities. Um yeah, announce it. Yeah, and we so we've been um so we have been getting a lot of requests uh for look pe- illustrators looking for critique partners which is it it really isn't as it isn't as easy to find a critique partner as an illustrator as it is for an author there are so many writer mm-hmm. critique groups out there um illustrator illustrator critique groups or even just illustrator critique partners are are a lot harder to find so we 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 thought about a lot of different ways that we could try to help bring people together, bring illustrators together so they could find critique partners. Um, and um, first we thought and about we a say list. Before. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. back to working in groups and, and working together. Before we decided to go with this, we were planning I took your line, sorry, uh, no, go to ahead. make a list and all that, yeah. but we got feedback from other artists. We talked to each other. We went back and forth yeah. on what could be, what would be the best way and what legal ramifications we would have if we were to do something different. So what we came up with is <laughs> the best thing that we could come up with so that it benefits everyone and it doesn't become this ugly thing that we don't want to keep doing so we are yeah this is go sunny sorry oh no it's just fine yeah. because i was like no yeah so was, yeah um, so we considered several up. different options and um we considered uh yeah like a maybe a google document with a i mean with not a google doc but like an excel spreadsheet a google excel spreadsheet with where people could put their information we or just fill out a form and then they would have access to other critique people who are looking for critique partners, but we didn't like that because you, then we would have, we would have everyone's personal information, maybe just emails, but actually just emails. But even so, I don't feel like we, it's safe for us to be able to share that information, you know, and not know what would be done with it. So then we even thought about like a discord channel and the, and we're both kind we're of too old, too old for, for discord. <laughs> I've tried it several times. My kids use it a lot. I don't like it. I I just have a hard time on Discord. It's not there's it's just we're just old, we're old. <laughs> so um and then um but then I am in a lot of Facebook groups and so is Olga and I have used Facebook groups uh for many years uh and they have really benefited and it, it really helped has helped me in many in so many areas not just illustration but um I like the fact that when you're in a Facebook group you have the ability to uh communicate with others and network and um, ask questions and then they can be answered and um but all there are a lot of illustrator Facebook groups um, but this one, we would like to create one just for us, just for our listeners and for, and for illustrators in general, but a, one that we, a run. private group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the idea of it being private doesn't mean, I mean, anyone, even if they're not listeners, they can come in, Yeah, but it will be private in the sense that, you know, there will be some questions that they need to ask. It's only going to be for illustrators or someone working to become an illustrator Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't want it to be a place where people are going to be looking for illustrator work and you know like like, for example an an author looking for for an illustrator and here show me your portfolio so there'll be none of that we don't want people showing their portfolios looking for work we don't want uh, people looking for illustrators no self-promotion it's going to be a, a community where artists are working together to help each other improve on the craft. We can continue discussions if we heard something in the, on, you know, in the, if you heard something in the podcast and you want to continue the discussion or you have further questions, this yeah. is a community where you can go like, hey, going off on the way they were talking about and start your own discussions. Mm-hmm. But mainly, and, and I think the part that's going to be the most exciting, at least for me, because, you know, it's art, you can post your illustrations and ask for feedback so 
don't be embarrassed. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you're super, super, um, uh, say, um, already skillful in your craft, or if you're starting out, if you're going through a change and, um, in, a, in your style, whatever it may be, you post it and you can ask for feedback and we'll, we'll bounce ideas too. We'll get in there. We'll be active in it. And if there's an illustration there, we'll put our two cents and, you know, like just mm -hmm. give our, if our feedback on it. Um, and they, you know, use this as, as, a, as, a, as a, a place to bounce ideas. If you're, if you're coming up with new projects, I'm, I'm a little over the place on this, but I, no. I really want it to be like an exciting, very safe place to post your stuff and not just get the, oh, that's so cute. I can't yeah, say that. <laughs> that's like yeah. that's not a critique. Well, that's and but cute, also be mindful. Yes, but also be mindful when you're giving, uh, you know. And that's there are yeah. a lot of illustrator groups out there, and people do post work for feedback. But one thing I see, it's either one or one or the other extreme. Either it's that's so cute, or people are really critical. And um when you're giving feedback and we've talked this about about this before when you give a critique you need to make sure that you are kind you know that you're taking mm -hmm. the person's uh, feelings into account but you still sh you still should give honest uh and critical feedback but always find something good about the work and then you can say your your piece but it you shouldn't just like launch yeah. into somebody's you know with all the right. negative. It's not an attack. Don't attack their work. Don't attack their abilities. Meet the artists where they're at. Right. In yeah. the level they're at. And see if there's a way to improve from what the, what they're showing you. Right. Not, not If the artist's abilities are at this level, we're not going to be like at an, an, a level two. I don't know. I'm throwing random numbers out there. Mm -hmm. We cannot expect that artwork to go to a hundred yeah. if the ability of that artist is at a, at a two to a 10, but we can help improve mm -hmm. the art wherever it is at, wherever that, that artist, because we have students, we have people that are just entering the field. We have people that are mm -hmm. switching techniques that are going from traditional to digital. And yeah. it takes a while to get back, you know, to get there. Yeah, uh, we are not there. No one, no one is there because there is no there. There is no perfect, and mm -hmm. uh, we're constantly changing. So it's not an attack. And but I think not giving feedback when you're asking for feedback, not giving feedback is also a disservice. Yeah, it's kind of like that's yeah. that's what I I want. This is a place where literally people will be like, I need help with this illustration, or mm -hmm. I need help with my portfolio, or I'm trying to submit this to the client. And this is the stuff that if it's, if it's client work that you can post in there. Um, and they're asking me to make the character look like this. And I cannot figure out, can you give me some pointers? Yeah. Do that. That's great. Then you actually are helping each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And, th and that's how people grow. That's how you grow and learn is through is through good feedback and critiques. Um, yeah. yeah, we want to be able to share yeah. announcements and events in the group. That's why it's called Illo Chat. Um, we're going to right. moderate it and um, control the yeah, posts. So what it would be nice is and I have benefited from this. If, um, if we come across an opportunity that even if it's not ours, if we're like, hey, I heard Random House is opening for submissions without agents, we'll yeah. post it there. Yeah. If we heard, if you, the listener, have heard of, hey, there's a scholarship competition uh, for portfolios for, you know, in yeah. this, this link, post a link. That's lovely. Help the community, help each other. Hey, guys. Um, um uh, whatever whatever instagram um contest is happening or not contest but what do you say mm -hmm. like the movements um you know may uh, mermaid or you know junicorn or whatever it is yeah just post it there as a uh, reminder that's fantastic great stuff what uh, what we are going to request is that you don't do self-promotion for example if you have 
a Kickstarter starting or something like that. Don't just post that. Send that to us. Let us approve it. And then yeah. you can go ahead and, you know, if it's just your fun project that you want to go ahead and, and say, hey, I'm, I did a Kickstarter. If anybody wants to support it or look at it, here it is. But not offering portfolio service, uh, uh, your services because we're all artists. We're not going to buy art from each other kind of thing. We're not looking for illustrators when we're illustrators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I think, I think announcements that things like that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know. That, well, that we has have to get to, approved. We have to, yeah, we, we prefer to pr approve any announcements and we'll say that in the rules and the guidelines on yeah. the group. Yeah. Because the reason why, at least you're very active on Facebook's Facebook groups, I haven't yeah. been too active in them. And it's just, it becomes this thing of Hey everybody, follow me on Instagram, follow me here, follow, and it becomes this follow for follow or yeah. this self-promotion, yeah. or like I just wanted to share this final piece. And all they're looking for is for people to follow them or people to just say, Oh, this is cute. I mm -hmm. we don't need any of that. That's not going to be helpful. And then I just don't go there because it's it's like swiping through hundreds yeah. of these things just to get to anything that might be worth spending a few minutes on. Yeah. And as it is, we spend so much time on social media. I want it to be like, if you're actually going there, let it be for value. Let it be for something that is, is right. Going to feel like your group. Yeah. Um, we, we originally, we discussed, we weren't sure if it should just be for children's book illustrators or illustrators in general. And as you can see, Olga is currently working on uh Sorry. A puzzle. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying, like you're you're not oh. just, not. I don't think any children's book. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is only a children's book illustrator. Well, there are some who are because they're very busy and they're really successful. But a lot of us do, and and we enjoy being involved in many different aspects of illustration. Some work in editorial. Right. Some work in surface pattern design. Some work um, in licensing. Some work in. Um, fine art so we thought we figured that this group would be an illustration community so it can be for any illustrators because yeah. all of the concepts because are the same like for illustration exactly the skills that yeah. will be the same you still want to you know work on your composition your values all that stuff so we can and we can learn from when you see other people's work in, mm -hmm. that might not be in your genre you 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 learn you, you see something there that the way that they handle the line work and you can transfer that to your to your work yeah yeah so yeah I think we're going to leave it open to all illustrators but it is not for non-illustrators that's the one thing we decided we don't want authors coming in like you know advertising like we said before for illustrators um so that's the one requirement that you are going into illustration or you are an illustrator and we'll ask questions when when you uh, ask to join the group and the main thing the reason why we have done this because yes it's going to be an entire community where we can post our critiques and i mean post our, our artwork and get critiques and all of that and you'll see announcement about little chat uh things that we're doing and all that but the, the, this, the reason why this started is we benefit so much from our private critique group, which we are five illustrators that we meet every week. It has kept us working, improving. It has been a support system to like, hey, look for an agent, go ahead, submit. Uh, yeah, push each other and sharing uh, opportunities with one another. Um, and well, and Sunny and I became partners in, into this other mm. venture that we're doing together. So if you want to look for your private critique group, this is the perfect place to do so. You can, yeah. you know, we'll make some announcements where we'll, you know, there'll be a graphic saying, if you're looking for a critique partner, post your information here. here. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys can find each other, feel each other, look at each other's work and see if you can make your own critique groups. And, and we're going to post uh, some uh, ideas. Well, actually, we can talk about it in this episode too how would you form your own private critique group and the things that has worked for us like for example we use zoom just because it it's easier when you can see the people you can share the screen you can well, and you can share it's, like a white it's art so you need to be able to share your artwork you have to see it <laughs> right um 
yeah. and you can you have a whiteboard so you can make changes to it you can you know it's it's very easy we we log in with our ipads and we log in with our computer and mm -hmm. just it's a it's our it's our critique meeting group we look forward to it every week mm -hmm. um there's other ways to do it we just happen to use zoom but there's a facebook i think now has these groups rooms or I don't know, other people, however it is you decide to do it, because it's hard to find someone that lives right in your community. Mm -hmm. Gas prices going up, time, I get away from the kids, it's, 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 it's difficult. So this works, a couple of hours for us works perfectly fine. Yeah. So that's an idea on how to do it. But find your people. Now you would know that whoever posts in that thread is looking for an illustrator group. Mm -hmm. And you can- and It's up to you, you share your information. Yeah. And that I, we feel like that's a better way to do it organically rather than send out people's information to strangers that we don't know. Um, and then, and, and then when you're doing, if we do it that way, then people can um, kind of check out the other per person, you know, and decide who, oh, this, I think they're about the same level or higher than me. So I would love to, you know, form a connection with them because then, that was another thing we were going to discuss is like how do you decide who is a good fit for your critique group like how do you decide who your partners should be um we have discussed this in, in in another episode when you're looking for a critique partner find someone find a group that has different levels um you mm -hmm. don't want to just you know like um you you don't want to be at a, at a at a higher level and then your entire group is just beginning because then you're just going to teach them and you're not going to be able to to get any feedback on your own work. yeah so you want to find a level where you're right in the middle there's people that are that, that have advanced in the journey before you that, that that already know some things that you might not know yet and some people that are you know also starting so you can work together as a group mm -hmm. um it's easier when it's the same genre and everybody's on the same page, everybody's looking, but with a little yeah. bit of movement within it. Um, yeah. For example, we have, we have friends that have, that have more of a graphic novel, uh, you know, more middle grade, and then others that are a picture book, but it's still within publishing. Yeah. It just helps out when it's, it's a little bit more um, cohesive that everybody's kind of going in the same direction. Yes. Yeah. Those are the things to look for, you know, like the sense of urgency, like when you and I were going to conferences and we were gearing up to it and it was like, we were feeding off each other's energy and like, we have to do this and we have to do that. Mm -hmm. And we have our list. It was exciting. It was creatively super productive mm -hmm. uh, in that time. So that's the same. If, you, if everybody's in this kind of like in similar paths, we all have the same urgency, like, okay, I'm trying to get an agent. Okay. I'm trying to get this yeah. book published. I'm trying to get this, this uh, story to flow, this book dummy, all that, instead of just, what did you draw today? I drew a flower, you know? Yeah. And there are yeah. times like that where we're like, we're down, but that's yeah. when you encourage each other to do more. Yeah. So once you find the people that you want to uh, form a critique group with, you can, um, you need to decide how the best way to set up your group for your, for your group. Some, some people, some people work fine through email, um, but email is, um, uh, a really kind of a slow and, uh, difficult way to communicate. I think for something yeah, like this, I, it's better to do it in I real time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's better. To, it's, yeah. it's, I would it's hate faster. that because to do it in real time on and, zoom and you don't have the back and forth and the yeah that was yeah yeah i i i that but i mean so it, that some people prefer that um the, you could like we said use discord um you can even use instagram as a just you know thread with a a messaging thread on instagram you can use facebook groups you can use google meet um, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, you could meet in person, but I think in person is a little more difficult. But Zoom for us has worked the best overall because you can share your screen. You can actually even write on each other's screens. Um, I think, yeah, you still can do that. And you can all talk yeah, at the same time. 
yeah I, 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 I use slack for some things but it's not it's not the most uh, I, it's, I, it's kind of hard yeah things get yeah. things get lost in there and you have to kind of find them I know that's yeah. a, they, they organize them it's not my favorite yeah and I I'm not with that. a Facebook lover either but it has proved to be the best way to communicate mm-hmm. um so I think that that's for working but yeah, yeah for us also, we have we for us we meet on zoom and we do have also have a Facebook group where we can share information it because it is good so those one one week once a once a week twice a week are, are bi-weekly or it's good to decide yeah what your how often you'll meet and um it, depending on how often you'll meet you may need another way of communicating like facebook messenger or texting or things like that if you don't or meet you that often need some feedback Mm-hmm. right away yeah like it would be like hey we discussed these changes on this and this, yeah you know illustration did i did i get it what do you think and then yeah. you just post post that in your in your facebook uh, private group and yeah and you can get like a quick resp- reply to it instead of waiting until the next meeting yeah so for that stuff it becomes helpful. so i think it's good to have a live a live way of communicating um and meeting and then it's good to have like another an alternate way of like posting things and getting feedback um so this is giving me an idea but i'm not gonna uh, we are not committing to this we have not even discussed it maybe once in a while we can do a, a live if you know depending how many people we have um like you said live critiques for yeah i was Facebook thinking that for illust- for yeah yeah that would be super fun. i was also thinking we should have like a maybe a weekly post um uh allowing people to promote themselves like what i think no what i was thinking because when we talk so when we talked about accountability i was thinking oh we could have a weekly thing saying what are you working on and people could post their work in progress if they want feedback they could ask for it but it would all be under that post and because that's so one of the things that yeah i like about uh the the group is it keeps you accountable you have to you you give yeah, yourself a um a goal in the group that's what we do and you know I don't know if all critique groups do that we have just done that we give ourselves homework every week and we we say what we're going to be working on and then we come back the next week we may have worked on it we may have not <laughs> it just depends on how life goes um but but it's still you're still checking in with someone so you can just say I did this or I didn't. And, and just the thought of, of having to speak to someone about what you've worked on, it gives you a little more urgency and gives you a little more, well, of course, accountability and in, uh, in helps you helps motivate you to work on those things during the week. Um, It's really, yeah, it's really just about not, not working alone. And then this almost goes back it's funny here we are a year and a little bit more than a year later from our one of our first episodes that was don't work in a bubble yeah and we are doing that we are now establishing a community so you don't have to work in a bubble yeah so use this you should probably announce what the name of the group is going to be it's going to be our newsletter as well we will post it on instagram yeah it's set up already so jump in there Asked to join, we will go through each one, and it is literally Sunny and I. So yeah, get us. We'll be the moderators. We'll we'll, we'll be there. So let's. I I love. I'm really liking the idea. I love that as we get better at this and more, more involved, uh, we 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 will probably do this live. We'll try the live. I'm really excited about that. The live critique. You know how I love doing that stuff. I like life. <laughs> it's kind of like the live draw. Better. But instead yeah. of drawing our own stuff, we will yeah. ask you to submit some illustrations ahead of time and we'll do mm-hmm. live critiques and everyone benefits from it. Yeah. Hey, it's, sometimes I'm not... it's not easy to get critiques because they cost money. Uh, yeah. Uh, pe- illustrators are, are, are busy, but we can do them once in a while on yeah. the Facebook thing. And probably put some extras on instagram and then youtube mm-hmm. and all that good stuff yeah yeah so, so the group is what called, are we calling this thing um illo chat illustration community and we'll post the link uh in our show notes here to the facebook group and um 
we'll so let's see one more time let me break it let me break it down because Elo chat, I see it as one word, but Sunny sees it as two words. So you might see it both. Sorry. Words. Well, but it's, in the, it's, no, it's two fine. words in our, it's, in our. It is two words. Logo. You're right. I just see it as, <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely right. So it is I L L O L O. The next word is chat, C H A T. And then it's illustration community. Mm -hmm. And you'll find us on Facebook. Yes. So, and it's a chat, private community. Facebook group, but we'll, we'll post the link to the Facebook group in our show notes here on the podcast, on our website, on, um, uh, it, it'll also be, um, in our bio on our social media, like, you know, uh, on Instagram. Yeah. So we'll announce it, um, everywhere and, uh, with a link so, in our, on our, link tree or whatever you know our link in our bio so yeah it'll be available So once again just like what year ago when we said uh, we're going to start this um a podcast we did something again <laughs> we, we built we're building an illustration community <laughs> we hope so i mean i really hope it I works hope. um because that was our whole goal with with this with this podcast was to help hoping to bring people together and, and give them information and help them along on their journey so they you know as we talk about our journey so I I really hope this becomes what we're you know that we're envisioning yeah. yeah um yeah because we did it like all our, alone the whole thing and just and it helped to have each other mm -hmm. I can imagine you know when you have questions when you're like just getting yeah. burned out you just to talk to someone about about the illustrations and to be like and like I say so you don't just keep drawing in circles and you think you're doing great and then when yeah. you pre present your portfolio it's I don't know if I can say this crap <laughs> yeah. if I can yeah. then bleep it yeah then it's kind of like oh I put all that effort just drawing the same circle when someone else could have been saying you know you could draw the circle a little bit bigger you know like yeah. it's just it's just someone to see your work outside of yourself and outside mm -hmm. of your family and just work together because everything is better with a friend. I put here. It is. Life is better with a friend. So it I is. hope, I hope this does work. Yeah, I think it will. I think it'll be, I was thinking it'd be a good thing. But the thing is that with, we did the live draws and those were kind of fun, but it's just, the, you know, it's just us drawing and talking. I and think personal. this doing live critiques is a little bit more open to everyone and it will help people more and it will help each other. So yeah, I like, I like the whole live critique instead of doing live draws. Um, yeah. I like that we too. haven't even done them in a while. So yeah, I think this will be more beneficial to, to everyone. Yeah yeah so i guess that's all right so from here i'm gonna stop drawing dogs and i'm gonna do a graphic to announce this on this yeah Instagram i guess I'm so like, like, i'm actually more excited now with that we, we did the, the podcast for it yeah uh, that we recorded the podcast then before we were setting things up and it was just like okay uh, here's the facebook group <laughs> yeah we'll get it on facebook we'll get it on instagram we'll get it on the on this on the new, newsletter sign up to the newsletter you'll you'll be able to hear things you know i can see them and have them and sometimes we put resources there as well mm -hmm. so i guess that's it this is this podcast was more about announcing this community thing that we're going to do and take advantage of it come mm -hmm. and hang out yeah, hope you um, hang out with us. I think we can wrap this one. I don't know how long we've been going, but we can wrap um, this one up. It might be a short we're episode. Um, we're going to have uh, others that we're going to be working on this week. That's we might have fine. to double up this week because July is coming and that's vacation. vacation yeah, vacation <laughs> time. <laughs> I love it. I'm so looking forward to I need it. So I think we're going to take us out on and thank you for listening. Um, subscribe to a newsletter give us reviews share the podcast um this is growing and and i'm glad it's becoming i'm glad i feel like i'm we're getting into more of a community for illo chat and hopefully it will grow and it will help each other and you can find your illo chat friends yeah have like what we have <laughs> yeah yeah all right that was so that's it then that's it we'll all see right. you next week 
Have a good summer. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. You too. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.